Hi everyone, this is Kenny here from Property Stories, the channel where we discuss everything about real estate to help you make an informed decision. So back in 2010, I actually invested in my first rental property and I'm still holding it till now. But there are actually things that I wish that I knew before buying a first, my first rental property. The first and foremost is that rental and property investing is actually where you start, it's a tedious job. You have to deal with a lot of people, agents, contractors, tenants, you know. It's not investing. Uh. Don't think that you buy one property, then you're a property investor. No, no, no. You, are, you, are, you just have a job as a property manager, not a property investor yet. You need to have the skill, which comes to number two. I wish that somebody tell me that I have to have the skill and build a team first. Then yeah, we can call a property investor. Property investing is not passive income. Eh? Anything that you need to work on it is not passive income. So third one is that I wish that I knew is how much am I eligible for loan application in terms of loan application. I didn't know that I myself, right, being a salesperson, I'm not eligible for like a huge number of loans because my basic is very low. I didn't know that. I thought it's like okay, four hundred thousand, I can afford it, so I just buy. My loan didn't pass, you know. I had to get my dad to come in. So if I knew how much I can borrow, I wouldn't be so gung ho buy a four hundred thousand property. Maybe buy something two hundred thousand. <laughs> uh, which brings me to number four. You have to know that how much you are capable of borrowing, and then not only that, you need to know how the banks actually evaluate your pop- your profile as a property investor because. Whether you are investing or whether you're buying for own stay, you need to know how much you can borrow. And if you can know how to beautify your profile, make borrow much more, it will be beneficial for you in the future. Number five. Number five, the final one is that exit plan. Nobody taught me about exit plan. The first thing that the guru spec then taught, and I actually absorbed things as logical, is that hold forever. You know why? Because let's just say you're receiving a rental of 2500 at this point of time. Imagine 30, 35 years down the road, you finish paying the house and you'll be receiving that 2500 less off the maintenance fees and quit rent and everything. Net cash. This is cash flow for you to retire. However, what they didn't tell you is that you need to have an exit plan. Life does not go smooth linear like what we want. And there's a lot of other factors along the way that will actually prompt you to sell, okay? You don't have to keep all the properties that you buy. You need to have an exit plan. So all this before you invest, right? Perhaps you can take into account these five things before you do property investing. You're not a property investor yet. Uh, if you hold one or two like me, you are just having a job as a property manager, okay? So I hope that uh, my sharing helps you a little bit in terms of your property investing journey. So that's it for me. I'm more than happy to take your questions on real estate and investing. And if you want to know what's life like as an agent, so you are welcome to give me a a WhatsApp or an email. I will try my best to answer as much as I can via videos such as this or my Facebook page or Instagram. Do follow them. The links are down below. Okay? Until then, this is Kenny here from Property Stories. Bye-bye.